Now the Cruiser may be the most leisure focused XO that they've ever built. That being said, it still has 700 horsepower, so it goes pretty well out of the water as well. And as I've said, this is a very leisure focused cockpit for XO. We're going to talk a bit more about this module out in the water, but essentially this is your sun pad and your wet bar. There's some trickery going on here. And because when the wet bar's there, you lose a little bit of seating, they've installed flip down seats on both sides of the cockpit. These armrests are also going to fold back this way on future models. Obviously it's going to offer a bit of protection going aft when the boat's moving along. And it's also another backrest for when you're seating down. And what's great about this cockpit is how protected it is. When you're down in this fantastic helm, really driver focused helm, you've got a lot of protection from the windscreen and you've also got nice, thick, solid handrails all the way around. So you're always very safe when you're moving about. Getting forward a wee bit more precarious because you're opening up the windscreen as so. And you're stepping up here and then you're going onto what is a very flat side deck with not much to hold on to. You're not going to be want to be up here in a swell, but once you're in the marina, it's absolutely fine. And actually access forward is very good. Rolling. So the cruiser is a 31 foot boat, but it's got a hell of a lot of cockpit. So maybe it's a bit of a surprise how much space there is once you're down here. Getting through the hatch is a bit of a squeeze and actually it's most easy to come in backwards. But once you're in, surprising amount of headroom, really surprising amount of natural light. And you've got two opening hatches in the ceiling, no portholes, but honestly, it's plenty bright enough down here and it helps that it's nice bright materials. You haven't got a galley or anything like that, but you've got a bit of space to sit down here. You could get changed down here. Of course, you could sleep for the odd night. And what's really nice for day boating, which is what this boat's gonna be used for, is the fact that you've got a separate loo. It's sitting room only, but you've got a proper loo in there, a sink and a shower if you need it. So the cruiser may have a slightly more leisure orientated cockpit, but that doesn't mean it's lost the exciting hard edge driving experience that XO is known for. On the back of this boat, we've got a pair of 2.6 litre six cylinder Mercury Verados combined output of 700 horsepower. So make no mistake, this thing absolutely flies. 46 knots today with the four blade props fitted and probably over 50 with the three, three blades on there. It doesn't feel like it though, even though when you bury the throttles, it really picks up, you get that lovely whine from the Mercury motors. It feels like we're doing 15 knots. We are in fact doing just shy of 40. It's absolutely extraordinary. You're so well protected in this helm. I've got suspension seats, lovely and close to the wheel and the throttles. This windscreen does a fantastic job of shooting the breeze over the top of the helmsman's head. It just feels so comfortable going quickly, this boat. And we're filming in the harbour today because it's an absolutely stinking rough day out there. There's no way we get anything useful to camera out there but it handled that brilliantly as well, as you'd expect from an XO. So this unit is a key feature on the cruiser. When it's set up normally, it's either a forward-facing seating area or it converts into a sun pad. But then underneath that, you lift up this lid, which folds back on itself, and this reveals this wet bar. So under here, you have your fridge unit, you have a grill, obviously you have sink, tap, down here, is where you have a bit of storage, some lovely little wooden storage units here. And at the moment, in typical XO fashion, it's all a bit over-engineered and a bit heavy because what they should do is at the push of a button, raise up and come to about waist height. So they're going to make the entire unit a bit lighter. But it's a fabulous bit of engineering to fit this on a boat of this length. So this is it in some pad guys, utterly useless today. So it's going to be more useful. Just pop this up like this, and then you get slide back here, pop this down, and you've got your seating area.